As an artist who mainly investigates the construction of memory and the devices that attest to histories and truth through photography, my time as a student at the Market Photo Workshop was spent delving into South African photographers from the generation of Ernest Cole, Santo Mufogeng, Joe Radcliffe, Cedric Nunn, David Goldblatt, and Andrew Shabangu. The three photo books that have st stuck with me are Ernest Cole's House of Bondage, Santo Mufogeng's Chasing Shadows, and Joe Radcliffe's The Land of the End of the Worlds. I will speak briefly about Ernest Cole and Santo Mufogeng. Often characterized as photojournalists and or documentary photographers, who both documented life in the country from a Black perspective. As a young Black South African female photographer, born and raised in a township in the East End of Johannesburg, Gatlehong, I relate for different reasons to the photographs of Mufogeng and Cole. However, I will speak about the ones taken of, in or from a train by both these photographers. Mufugeng's images of impromptu religious rituals on a crowded commuter train titled Train Church from 1986 and calls photographs of railway stations titled Riders on a Moving Train near Johannesburg, South Africa from 1962. The train and railway stations in these images as it relates to the South African history is a specific marker of segregation. And I quote, it is a depiction of dehumanizing conditions Black African workers endured on their daily commutes. Having been forced to relocate to towns far from their jobs, they were subjected to extreme overcrowding that they were forced to stand packed together for hours at a time. Others were forced to ride clinging to the exteriors of the train, end quote. I situate the two photographers' work to each other, but also recognize what Mufugeng's depictions of the morning train commutes are of, and I quote, worship, being singing, praying, clapping, stomping, dance accompanied by bells, and hands clapping in a spectacle to watch, Mufugeng wrote. In his book, House of Bondage, in which Cole depicts train photographs, he writes of the dangerous practice of hanging onto precarious perches on the outside of trains, which was called washing. And he says, for when a train goes by at speed, these passengers look like clothes hanging on the washing line. The statement for me of um, the train commuters looking like clothes or washing hanging hangs on for dear life makes me think about Joe Radcliffe's photograph titled Roadside Stale on the way to Vienna from 2007, which is shown in her new book, Photographs 1982 Now, published in 2020. Emmanuel Iduma writes of this photograph saying that she stands facing dangling overalls held by long strips of twine and tethered to narrow branches face presences without bodies, exoskeletal men. They are hung there as if in readiness. Later, when the ghosts come, they will need to be clothed. In reflecting on these three photographers, um, I look at my contemporaries such as Zanele Moholi, Sabelo Mlangeni, Nontigelelo Velogo, Musa Ngumalo, Tabiso Sakhale, and Michael Sapotsky. But also I reflect on the recent exhibition at Tizigo, which was titled Not the Usual Suspects, which was in 2018, running till June 2019. This offered a reflection about photography training and the relationship between photography and memory. It was an ongoing research project intended to contribute to debates about the production of public narratives and archives in South African art history. The project developer and curator Ingrid Masondo argues that Not the Usual Suspect is an invitation that speaks to the enduring orders of invisibility and neglect on the productions, histories, and archives of women and queer photographers and artists generally.